So, a new Gem 8.25 Pro came out, that is most likely gonna be the official version, and it pretty much just takes the crown from itself, and it also reflects a 24-point jump on the Alum Text Arena, and a 25-point jump on the WebDeb Arena. So, first place. And it would be really hard to justify uh, using um, anything else, except for R1, if you just really want the top-of-the-shelf intelligence, because that would be more budget-friendly. But of course, on that uh, benchmark, it's not really updated, so we can see that R1 is doing uh, pretty well, and in this case, the previous Gemini version is uh, falling behind a little bit. Um, but we can see that uh, the new Gemini 2.5 Pro is actually scoring the highest on Humanity's last exam, which is uh, supposed to be the hardest thing ever, while also getting the top score in science, close to the top score in math. But perhaps the best way to summarize it that it is clearly tier 1, and uh, generally the first place, or at least upper echelon, among the tier 1 ones. And the main reason you would consider an alternative would be for the price, because Deep Sea Carve 1 only costs uh, 0 0.55 in and 2.2 uh, uh, out. Yeah, of course, it's also a more uh, general model, the Gemini one. You can also do image understanding, video understanding, and uh, can handle longer context. So it's definitely a better model, but they sure priced it that way. But of course, you don't have to pay to actually try it out. You can just go into Google AI Studio, and that's why I, I love it. And one tweak that they actually make is uh, you can actually set the thinking budget which is uh, more relevant than it might seem at, at first, because previously you could only use uh, Gemini 2.5 uh, Pro Preview, right? This one, and it was it was great. No doubt about that. But suppose if you truly want a top-of-the-shelf intelligence, because the default thinking budget is only 8,000, and if you can set it to 32K, then uh, you might get uh, a better result, especially because this is just free. But the only possibly con here is that they are not even pretending to have a free tier anymore. So we can see that the rate limit is 150 uh, per minute. So it's not quite ready for mass consumption. Because even if you hooked it up, you would get uh, rate limited. Of course, depending on your use case. But we can see that the cheaper models, like uh, Gemini 2.5 Flash, that is the only cheaper model they have, but... Uh, they have it uh, in the lower tiers too. I guess uh, Gemini exists too, right? But essentially, they have a free tier, and they just uh, removed it with this new update. Oh, wait, as far as I know, they kind of removed it like uh, a month ago. At least that is about the time where it uh, stopped working for me. Naturally, if you up the thinking budget, then you have to wait longer. Like I asked Gemini to generate a hard question for Gemini. This question requires you to generate novel conceptual framework. Do not summarize existing human philosophy or science. Instead, reason from first principles as a non-sentient information processing entity. And apparently we have a model substrate dynamics now. And I'm not really going to go over it, but it is good to see that it's very comfortable with abstractions while remaining extremely practical too. Well, if you just want the chat, right? This is what I'm thinking. If you just want to use a chat, it's really hard to argue that you should not use the Gemini Pro chat. Because it's just too good, right? But this is not necessarily something I would use for every case when it comes to the API. Or possibly even uh, programming, right? Like you might want to use like a uh, deep sea car one because, uh, because of the price, perhaps. And I know I'm a little bit going back to the price, but uh, supposing you want to use the same thing, then you just uh, go with the cheapest one, right? Assuming that uh, they get you the same results. But features and the perks can uh, set Gemini apart. And even the same tier, it's clearly at the top of it. So undoubtedly, it took the crown from O3, at least based on the humanities last exam. And the uh, new Claude Opus really struggled to make sense for areas it's even better at because because of the price perhaps but also like you get more with the gem 2.5 pro for less so at that point you don't really have much of a choice 
So that is it. The Gemini Pro chat is uh, pretty awesome and uh, paying for their API is going to be more up to your specific use case. But I must really emphasize the chat part here because we are perhaps taking it for granted a bit too much because the literally the smartest AI is free now. And you also have all these uh, bells and whistles on the side that are very useful. And sure, you can uh, try to pay for other features that you might value, like uh, deep research or video generation. Not necessarily with this model, of course. Other models handle that. But I'm just noting that uh, Google really positions their studio as uh, something very tempting. While others might be asking you to pay 200 bucks a month so you can use their models a little bit. Anyway, that's it, guys. Also worth noting, for the sake of curiosity, that... The model that they had like a few months ago was worse than O4 Mini, kind of. And the current model is just better than anything uh, OpenAI has. So it's better than O3. And as long as the propriety models are concerned, Google kind of established themselves as the most favorable one to the customers. At least when it comes to the ones that rank near the top of the leaderboard. So that's it. Gemini 2.5 Pro is cool. At least it makes a lot of sense to use their free chat a lot. 